Friends, we all know that positive thinking can guide us quickly towards not only happiness, but success in life. One of the greatest techniques that we have for employing that positive thinking on the highest level is meditation. Now, not all meditation techniques are created equal, but there are a few that are very advanced, and I want to talk to you about one of them, an overarching form, uh, you could say an umbrella technique, called Kriya Yoga. And I wanted to read to you briefly from chapter 26 of the Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda, The Science of Kriya Yoga. Yogananda was such a master of this technique that he was able to perform just two or three Kriyas and be completely absorbed in Samadhi, perfecting his mind. Chapter 26 reads, page 235, The science of Kriya Yoga, mentioned so often in these pages, became widely known in modern India through the instrumentality of Lahiri Mahasaya, my guru's guru. A yogi who faithfully practices the technique is gradually freed from karma or the lawful chain of cause-effect equilibriums. Skipping ahead a little bit again. The advanced yogi transmutes his cells into energy. Elijah, Jesus, Kabir, and the prophets, other prophets, were past masters in the use of Kriya or a similar technique, by which they caused their bodies to materialize and dematerialize at will. Kriya is an ancient science. Lahiri Mahasaya received it from his great guru, Babaji, who rediscovered and clarified the technique after it had been lost in the dark ages. Babaji renamed it simply Kriya Yoga. And he says here, The Kriya Yoga that I am giving to the world through you in this 19th century, Babaji told Lahiri Mahasaya, is a revival of the same science that Krishna gave millenniums ago to Arjuna and that was later known to Patanjali and Christ, St. John, St. Paul, and other disciples. For more information on this technique, please visit yogananda.org and enjoy my videos as well. Namaste.